By definition, the slope of the tangent, which we denote by m of 2, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. Okay, so now we need to be, find each individual piece and substitute it into this difference quotient. To find f of 2 plus h, we take 2 plus h and we substitute in for x in the function. So we get 1 divided by 2 plus h plus this 1. And then we want to subtract off f of 2. f of 2 we get just by taking 2 and substituting it in for x. And then we divide the whole numerator by h. Okay, the next thing we do is we should do is simplify the numerator. We'll start with this, this first piece. So we get 1 divided by 2 plus h plus 1 is really 3 plus h minus 1 over 2 plus 1, so 1 third, and then divided by h. Okay, so we see, we notice that this, if, if h is equal to 0, then the numerator becomes 1 third minus 1 third, which is 0, and the denominator is 0. Okay, so this is the 0 over 0 type, so what we want to do is we want to simplify this entire expression, see if we can cancel this h out of the denominator. The way we want to do that when we have fraction, uh, the difference of two fractions in the numerator is to get a common denominator within this numerator. That common denominator is going to be 3 times 3 plus h. In the first fraction, we're missing the 3 from the denominator, so we multiply the numerator and denominator by that 3. In the second fraction, we're missing the factor of 3 plus h from the denominator. So we multiply this numerator and this denominator by that 3 plus h. Now let's write out what we have. Okay, the numerator now becomes 3 divided by 3 times 3 plus h minus 3 plus h divided by 3 times 3 plus h. And we still have that divided by h. Okay, now that we have a common denominator among the terms in the numerator, we want to write, write it as a single fraction. So we get 3 minus, don't forget the parentheses around this, 3, 3 plus h. So it's minus the quantity 3 plus h divided by 3 times 3 plus h. Okay, so this, this common denominator. And then the overall fraction is still divided by this h. And now we want to clean up the numerator. Three minus three minus h simplifies to minus h, and then divided by three times three plus h. And then all of that divided by this h. Okay, the way we divide fractions is we take the numerator and we multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. Note that we haven't taken the limit yet, so we have to keep writing it. All we've been doing so far is simplify the function, the difference quotient that we're taking the limit of. So this numerator times the reciprocal of this denominator. And now what you notice is that the h's will cancel out. So this is equal to the limit 
as h approaches 0 of negative 1 divided by 3 times 3 plus h. And now we can evaluate this limit by using substitution. So if we plug in 0 for this h, we get negative 1 divided by 3 times 3 plus 0, and that's equal to negative 1 ninth. So therefore, the slope of the graph at the point where the x-coordinate is equal to 3, I'm sorry, the x-coordinate we wanted was 2, so the slope of this function at the point where x equals 2, which again we denote by m of 2, is equal to negative 1 ninth.